Hey guys, uh, Chris here, back from CNH Small. I just thought I'd do a quick video out here. Well, I was outside working today, so I thought I'd do a quick video for guns as well, too. Uh, I had a comparison video because one of my um, friends wanted me to uh, do a quick uh, comparison video between like different sizes of ammunition, um, uh, storage units, and stuff like that. So what I have right here are uh, four different types I actually have over here. Uh, the biggest one over here is the uh, 20 millimeter one right here. This is the uh, 20 millimeter size. Right here, this is the uh, United States uh, military 20 millimeter size. Uh, next one we have here is the uh, Fat 50 over here. Let me get this out of the way here. This one right here is a uh, Fat uh, 50 size. Next one we have right here is a uh, 30 cal. Get this thing out here and show you the side markings. <clears throat> That's your uh, 30, uh, 30 caliber size right there for that. I got uh, 8 millimeter miles or in this one right here for reference points. So, And the last one we also have here is the uh, good old cheap, uh, I think it's called Plano, uh, Plano size. This is like a 30 caliber size right here as well too. That's what it looks like on the outside. Made by Plano. You can buy these things typically on... Um, E, uh, eBay or Amazon for like you know ten bucks basically they're, they're they're relatively cheap so I'll give you a shot this is what this thing looks like side by side here comparisons so this is what it looks like it's uh, plastic a nice plastic handle on the top right here and you got a little flip uh, flip lid and on top here you can basically store all of your ammunition and stuff like that down inside here I got a bunch of uh, uh, good old American Eagle stuff down inside here for reference points stuff like that so you could all um, uh, one specific type in this one right here for reference points and that's good stuff American Eagle and plus it also has a inner seal on the inside right here you have a rubber uh, seal right down inside here so this thing is basically water uh, tight so lock it together just like so and give you a side shot here for reference so there we go there's your like a 30 cal plastic one you can buy on eBay or Amazon for like eight to ten bucks and there's the back side and here's your other side as well too I got a bunch of stickers and anything else like that for that so that's why I normally put on the outside of these things anyway so uh, this is a good durable um, good durable storage unit it's not metal it's plastic so it, it will not rust so if you want to uh, store it in some kind of a human environment uh, you simply uh, put some kind of a desiccant pack inside there to keep the moisture down inside and you can simply store in your basement or some kind of a high humidity area where you don't have to worry about it rusting okay next one we got here was the 30 cal here's a 30 cal box and that's what it looks like on the outside 30 caliber here's your front here's your other side and the back side as well too so that's your 30 caliber size right there i got eight millimeter miles on this one right here for reference points you can see them open there we go I got some old old shit stuff in here. Good old uh, eight millimeter miles. I believe this is a uh, Yugo uh, surplus stuff right here for reference points. Is typically a Yugo uh, miles or good old Yugo stuff. This stuff does function, but it's relatively cheap and it's uh, corrosive ammunition as well too. This stuff's made in um, 1950 for reference points, so it's uh, corrosive. So if you're going to be using it out there, you got to clean your gun as quick as possible. And these things also have a uh, rubber O-ring inside of the actual top. You have a big rubber O-ring right down inside here. This one's getting stuck out right here a little bit, but uh, it is a rubber O-ring they got down inside here for reference. Lock that thing back up. Okay. <clears throat> Next one we got here is the good old Fat 50. So it looks like in the front. Got what I want my logos on there. Here's your top. Give you a side shot. Here's your side shot. And the back. And the other side as well, too. So these ones are the good old 50 cal right here for reference. Uh, they call them the Fat 50. These are also steel, as the previous one I did right here for the uh, 30, uh, 30 caliber. So these are both steel. So these are military mil, mil spec ones. And this is what it looks like inside. 
Got a nice storage unit inside right here. You can put all your good ammunition down there. I got a bunch of good old IMI stuff in uh, PMCX tech. Good old Federal. Good old IMI surplus or IMI military. Got some SIG down in here as well, too. So you got some good old pull down there in the back. So I got a wide variety of stuff in here for this one. And these ones also have a uh, seal into where I seal. I should say rubber O-ring seal around the outside. You have rubber seal right in the back right here. You see a seal all the way around the hole inside of the uh, steel casing. So it's good for storing in an environment that you do not want any kind of water to get inside of the actual unit. Go ahead and flip it down. So back together, good to go. So here's what it looks like side by side. Comparison differences. The uh, two, the Fat 50 and the 30 Cal. So for reference points, here's my hand. So you can see like a, you know, some kind of general uh, scaling. Okay, last one we got here for you today, guys. Uh, it's a bit chilly out here. Okay, I'm gonna sing over here. So I, I gotta put my camera down, so bear with me, guys. Okay, I got the last one here. This one is referred to as the 20 millimeter uh, ammo storage. And so it looks like on the outside. Here's the one front portion. And there's the other side. So in order to open these things up, they have two latches on the front and the back. You have a latch right here, and you also have a latch. So it flips around here a little bit more, a little bit heavy. And you also got a latch back here as well too for reference points. So you have uh, two different latches on the front. You have front one and the back one. And then your, your actual covering goes down inside this lip right along here. So we'll go ahead and pop this thing open here. There's one. And here's the other side. In order to lift it up one-handed, you would simply try to grab this thing on the side. I'm just gonna do it one-handed here. It might be a little bit difficult. There we go. Here we go. Put my hand underneath here. Yeah, it won't let me get on our side. Okay, let me try it this way. There we go. So there's your lid. And your lid on this one also has the big rubber O-rings uh, gasket on here as well too for storage purposes to keep out any kind of water, moisture, dampness. And these things are basically relatively, uh, we don't call uh, waterproof because they have this big uh, rubber seal on the inside of this whole top covering right here for reference points. So that's what it looks like. The actual sealing inside right there. And this is what it looks like down inside. Give you a size comparison. Here we go. Here's a side comparison with the Fat 50 30 cal and the other 30 cal plastic one right there as well too. So for a size difference right here, got my hand. <clears throat> Here's my hand right there for reference. Go ahead and flip it around here. And there's a one side. There's the other side right there. And then there's the back side. FNUSA. And the front side again. You got your uh, latch mechanism right over here. And you have your two handles right down here as well too. These ones have uh, two handles on them to carry with like two different people out there for reference points. So that's what it looks like on the front, back side. And you can store a lot more stuff in this one as well too. I got a bunch of uh, ammunition and else in here for weapons or parts. Bunch of good old stuff in here. Good old Elite Sig Sire. And we got some, um, uh, what's it at here? This is that Lithuanian stuff right here for reference. So I got some springs. I think I even got a magazine sitting down there somewhere. Yeah, there's, there's a one spare magazine. So he's got another MF, uh, MFT Extreme uh, Tactical Magazine right there for reference. So I got a bunch of stuff in here just sitting around. 
And I got some uh, spare parts in my couple bags I got here as well too. Because it's always a good idea to have spare parts for your uh, guns for reference as well too. So that's what the uh, differences are here for the four different types I actually have here. So put that back that in there. So we'll go ahead and close this thing up here. So let me get a side shot here for you. So that's all four I have right there with the lid taken off the largest container right there for reference. So we'll go ahead and put that back down on here. Shake it off here. Okay, put it back on. Line it up. So I'm just gonna do this one handed here. Take it right in the top lip area right here for reference. Right, let's see, let's see if I can do this one hand. It might not let me. There we go. I think I got it now. I see the back side. I hate doing these things one handed here. Single this up here, it's a little bit more in the back. Okay, I think it's done all the way now. There we go. Okay, it's down all the way now. Sorry about that. In order to lock it, you simply put the uh, tabs underneath here. You have a, a tab shelf underneath here, right here. And this front portion right here fits under that tab area. And you lock it down to one side. And it'll lock it down to the back side. You gotta flip it around. Go ahead and do that. Then you flip it around just like so. And you grab the uh, locking tab right here it puts pressure onto the top portion just like so and locks it down just like that so then you can have one person carry one side and another person carrying the other side so that's the four different types they got right here flip these things around here move them around so you can side by side here okay there we go so that's what you look like uh, from side to side the smallest to the biggest biggest to smallest now, the smallest one, like I said before, over here is your typical plastic $8 uh, Plano uh, 30 cal looking box. And you have your 30 cal and your fat 50, and you have your uh, 20 millimeter right here as well, too, for reference points. So that's how you look like, guys. Anybody has any comments, questions, whatnot, feel free to uh, drop me a message here, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible, guys. I'll see you. Have a nice day.